Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, triangle uh, ADC along with this uh, segment uh, AB. And as a result, we get uh, these angles uh, 15 degrees uh, and uh, 45 uh, degrees. And moreover, uh, this uh, side length uh, AC is uh, 2 units. And furthermore, uh, this segment uh, BC is equal to this segment uh, BD. And now our task is uh, to find the length uh, of this uh, segment uh, AB. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, let me go over the basic uh, concepts. Let's recall exterior angle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite uh, interior angles. As you can see in this uh, diagram, we can see that this angle C is our exterior angle and that is going to be equal to the sum of these uh, two opposite uh, interior angles uh, A plus B. And now let me give you an example. This uh, angle outside is going to be our exterior angle and that is going to be equal to the sum of these uh, two interior angles. That is going to be 50 degrees plus 60 degrees is going to be equal to 110 degrees. And now let's recall the 30, 60, 90 special triangle as you can see over here. And now we can see that 30 degrees is our smallest angle. So the side opposite to that angle is going to be our smallest uh, leg whereas this uh, 90 degree angle is our largest angle so the side opposite to that is going to be largest uh, side so in such kind of special 30 60 90 triangle the longest uh, leg is uh, twice the smallest uh, leg if the smallest leg is uh, one unit uh, then the largest leg is going to be two units and this uh, third leg is going to be square root of uh, three so therefore, in general, if the smallest leg is uh, A, then uh, largest leg is going to be 2 times A, and this third leg is going to be A times uh, square root of uh, 3. And now let's recall this uh, 45, uh, 45, uh, 90 degrees uh, special uh, triangle. We can see this angle is 45 degrees, uh, this angle is 45 degrees, uh, and this is our 90 degree angle. Then such kind of triangle is called an isosceles triangle. So therefore, uh, this side length uh, is going to be equal to this uh, side length. If this side length is uh, A units, uh, then this side length has got to be A units uh, as well. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle. This is an isosceles triangle since this side length uh, equal to this uh, side length. So therefore, the angle opposite to this side uh, is going to be congruent to the angle opposite to this uh, other side. In other words, in this uh, isosceles triangle, these uh, two angles are uh, congruent. And here's our action plan. Uh, since we are interested in calculating the side uh, AB, and we know this uh, side length uh, AC is uh, 2. So therefore, we are very much interested uh, in this uh, triangle uh, ABC. And we are going to calculate uh, these angles uh, BAC and this uh, angle ACB as well. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ABD. And now let's recall once again the exterior angle uh, theorem. The exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite uh, interior angles as you can see in this uh, diagram. And we can see in our case uh, this 45 degrees uh, is our exterior angle and uh, these two angles, uh, this angle and this angle are going to be opposite uh, interior angles. So therefore we conclude that this uh, angle has got to be 30 degrees such that uh, if we add these two interior angles, uh, they add up to 45 degrees. And here in this uh, next step, I have dropped uh, this perpendicular uh, CE on this uh, line uh, AD. And as a result, we got this uh, right triangle uh, CED. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, right triangle uh, CED. We know this angle is 30 degrees. This angle is 90 degrees. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be 60 degrees. So therefore, we can see that this is our special 30, 60, 90 triangle. 
and here I have copied down this uh, triangle uh, CED. So therefore in such kind of 30, 60, 90 triangle uh, this uh, longest uh, leg is going to be twice the smallest uh, leg and we know in this uh, triangle CED since this side length uh, equal to this side length if I call this side length 1 and this is uh, 1 then uh, this uh, side length uh, is going to be C E is going to be 1. In other words uh, this uh, side length uh, C B is going to be equal to this side length uh, C. If these side lengths uh, are uh, congruent uh, then this is going to be congruent uh, as well. And here in this uh, next step I have connected uh, these points uh, E and uh, B and as a result we got this uh, triangle uh, B E C. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, B E C and we can see that this is an isosceles triangle since this side length uh, equal to this uh, side length. So therefore as a result uh, this angle has got to be equal to this uh, angle. So therefore we conclude that uh, this uh, angle uh, CEB is going to be 60 degrees uh, and this angle uh, CBE is going to be 60 degrees uh, as well. And the sum of these uh, three angles is going to be 180 degrees, 60 degrees plus 60 degrees plus 60 degrees. And since all these uh, three angles are uh, congruent, so therefore uh, this is an equilateral uh, triangle. So therefore we conclude that all these uh, side length CE, CB and uh, EB are uh, congruent as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that uh, this angle is 45 degrees and this whole angle is uh, 60 degrees. So therefore this uh, remaining uh, tiny angle has got to be 15 degrees. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, AEB. And we can see that this is an isosceles triangle since uh, this angle is 15 degrees uh, and this angle is 15 degrees uh, as well. So therefore we conclude that uh, this uh, side length uh, AE is going to be equal to this side length uh, EB. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, AEC. And we can see that this is an isosceles uh, triangle since uh, this side length uh, equal to this uh, side length. So therefore we conclude that this uh, angle uh, EAC is going to be 45 degrees and this uh, angle uh, ECA is going to be 45 degrees as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole angle is 45 degrees and this angle is 15 degrees. So therefore we conclude that this uh, remaining angle is going to be 30 degrees. And furthermore uh, this uh, angle uh, ACB this whole angle is going to be 45 degrees plus 65 degrees that is going to make 105 degrees. So therefore we conclude in this triangle ABC this angle is 30 degrees and this angle turns out to be 105 degrees. And now let's focus on this triangle ABC. I have copied it down over here and we can see our angle uh, ABC is 45 degrees, our angle uh, BAC is 30 degrees and finally our angle uh, ACB is uh, 105 degrees and this uh, side length uh, AC is uh, 2 units. And now we are going to calculate this side length uh, AB and here I have uh, dropped a perpendicular uh, CF on this side uh, AB. And as a result we got these uh, two right triangles AFC and this other triangle uh, BFC. And now let's make an observation we can see in this uh, right triangle uh, AFC if this angle is 30 degrees uh, this angle is 90 degrees uh, so therefore this angle has got to be 60 degrees. And likewise uh, in this other right triangle uh, BFC if this angle is 45 degrees, this angle is 90 degrees. So therefore this angle has got to be 
45 degrees as well and let's focus once again on this uh, right triangle uh, AFC and we can see that this is our 30 60 90 special uh, triangle and we can see this uh, is our uh, largest leg and this is our uh, smallest leg and we know the largest leg is twice the smallest leg if this is a uh, two units uh, then this uh, smallest leg uh, CF has got to be one uh, unit and this uh, third leg uh, AF uh, must be equal to square root of 3. So therefore we conclude that our this uh, segment uh, AF turns out to be square root of 3 and this segment uh, CF uh, is uh, 1. And finally let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, BFC. And we can see that this is an isosceles triangle since this is 45 degrees and this is 45 degrees uh, as well. So therefore its uh, side length uh, BF must be equal to this side length uh, CF. So therefore if this uh, side length is 1 then uh, this uh, BF side length is going to be 1 unit as well. So therefore we can see that our this uh, segment AF is uh, square root of 3 and this uh, segment uh, FB is uh, 1. So therefore uh, this whole uh, side length uh, AB has got to be 1 plus uh, square root of uh, 3. So thus our uh, AB length turns out to be 1 plus square root of 3 units and that could also be written as uh, 2.73 units as well. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.